Hey, what's up guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. In this video, we're going to take a look at something I saw myself this morning. This is a clock in my hallway. I took this photo of the clock as I was walking outside at approximately 4.13 a.m. I want to show you guys what I saw very early this morning. Also in this video, we're going up to Michigan, right here in Allegan, actually Lake Allegan, but we're going to be looking west out towards Lake Michigan. You guys are going to see some very mysterious light activity in the sky. A row of lights out here above Lake Michigan spotted on the night of June the 6th. I'd like to give a big thank you to all of you that stepped up over here at the homepage of the website. If you haven't seen this, by all means, click on this banner. I mean, it's no joke. Donald Mazide, Bruce Williams, Craig Hudson, Joanne Leader, and Joanna Mitchell, Mark Spence, Stephen Parr, Timothy Huntley twice, Darby Brown, Lewis and Company, Lynn Pecume, and Jason Ali. I want to thank you guys. Uh, from the bottom of my heart, I really appreciate you guys reaching out. It meant a lot to me. Rustin Brown and Lee Einstein. Thank you guys all very much. I really appreciate it. And once again, the link to the homepage of the website you can find down below in the description box. Looking at the most recent solar flare activity, here in the last 12 hours, we saw our 48th X-Class solar flare of Solar Cycle 25, and it is right here coming off the southwestern limb of the sun, and that energy was picked up by the Earth. You can see once again the, the ionosphere D region was just loaded with energy from that very powerful region that's been producing X-Class solar flares and M-Class solar flares for the better part of four weeks now. Looking at the Planetary K Index, still waiting on the arrival of the CMEs that could potentially spark auroras in the, the mid to upper latitudes. And more than likely, if there are northern lights, they will indeed stay to the north. Here's a video I took this morning. It has narration. I also put the metadata in some of the photos that I took. This was looking east at around 421 in the morning. Once again, this has narration. Here we go. I was still half asleep when I took this video. Hey everyone, it's June 10th, 421 a.m. 2024. I'm looking due east. I'm already seeing twilight well underway. Look at how bright that sky is at 422 was the exact time according to my clock when I took this video. Now there's three different types of twilight. There's astro twilight, nautical twilight, and civil twilight. Astro twilight, by definition, is when the sun is still below the horizon 18 to 12 degrees. Nautical twilight is when the sun is below the horizon 12 to 6 degrees. Civil twilight is when the sun is below the horizon, and the brightest, by the way, between 6 and 0. And then the sun comes up, and you can actually see the top of the sun coming up above the horizon. Keep in mind, it's 420 in the morning, and look how bright the sky is. Is anybody else noticing this? So we're going to continue on with the video. So it just seems like the sun is coming up much, much earlier than I've ever remembered it. 421 and I'm seeing this type of twilight again it's June 10th 2024 I realize June 23rd the sun will be at its northern hemisphere uh, farthest point but we're not at the 23rd yet today's the 10th we still have 13 days to go and then I'm not sure if I would see twilight like this at 421 a.m. once again Sky lighting up already from Southeast Phoenix very, very early. Okay, here's the first photo I took. When I got up, I went to the back door, looked outside. When you look out the back door, you're looking to the northeast. So I went outside and looked to the east, and this is what I saw at 4.13 a.m. I took this photo. Over here is not a city skyline. There's mountains over there. It's very dark over there. That is due east. And as you can see, there were still stars in the sky when I took this photo at 4.13. That's from the backyard. Here's from the, the front. I walked around the front, took this photo at 416 from the driveway looking towards, again, the east. And see the mountains over there? 
There's no city over there at all, so those are not city lights. That is some version of twilight. Seems to be very, very early. Maybe it's got something to do with solar maximum. I inserted my view to the north over here on the right. There again, it's looking to the east, and you can see the difference. It's still dark over here in the north, and then this next photo, I'm looking to the west in this photo here, and still to the east over there, and you can see how different they are. It was very dark in the west, but bright in the east. Very very early this morning at 421 a.m. If you guys are noticing the sun coming up early in your location, please leave a comment down below in the comment section. Going up to Michigan now, we're going to be looking to the west out over Lake Michigan from Allegan right in here. The viewers, there were two witnesses that saw these lights. They were standing on a boat dock right here in Lake Allegan looking towards Lake Michigan, which is 15 miles away from their location. Let me share the email that they shared with me from Thomas Dickerson to me Lake Allegan Lights videos taken on 66 looking west from a dock in Lake Allegan Michigan you're gonna see a glow in this video and they say the glow is the late sunset with a dark tree line below the stationary lights from houses below flashes of light across sky plus four lights appearing and disappearing depending on altitude most likely over Lake Michigan approximately 15 miles miles to the west and that's what I found here on Google Earth because you're going to see in the video the lights seem to be several miles away so more than likely they were indeed out here above Lake Michigan here's the video that was sent in someone has some explaining to do as you're going to hear one of the viewers say in the video strange lights above Lake Michigan has narration here we go back what what the heck is it I'm looking at you, binoculars, and it. What the heck? There's a and the way that, the way the light travels and follows it. It's oh, it's off. It's, it's back gotta on. be coming from like a satellite or something. On and off. Whoa. That is not natural, whatever it is. It's some kind of man-made technology. Well, it is, and it's going across the entire sky. Yeah, it's huge. I've never seen any kind of light that would cause And that. it's like following those other lights. Yeah. The circumference, and it dims and changes colors, patterns. It's almost like someone's projecting something, either from above or is? below, but I almost want to think it's from below. Like someone's shooting Playing? some kind of, yeah. But how can it go across the entire I sky? Don't know. I don't know, and I don't know how they get it so, yeah, like you said, it has, they'd have to be up high on something. Or it's coming from a satellite above. That. Yeah. The way it shifts. And then that one time it came across here. It wasn't just over there. That one. Look at that. Time. What the heck is that? You gotta put that on elegant form. Someone's gotta explain that. There's to gotta us. be other people seeing this. Should we go wake up Tim and uh, Sandy? Okay. Are we crazy? Are you, what is this? those lights and they change they change color oh look they went away again oh there they're back and then they change what color. is that it's not moving it's staying in the same Okay, here are some modified versions of some clips that I, I took from the original video. I zoomed in as close as I could get, and you're going to see that blue pulse go through all four of those lights that are just kind of hanging around in the sky over there. Did you notice the blue pulse of energy? You're going to see it again. How about that? What is going on above Lake Michigan? And yes, I agree with the viewer. Here, I pause that blue pulse. Notice the blue pulse traveling from left to right. They said they could see that going all around the sky 
unbelievable. And, and like the viewer said, someone's got some explaining to do. They were very taken back by what they saw in the sky, probably out above Lake Michigan on the night of June the 6th of, of 2024. And here's that first blue pulse right there. I put it in slow motion there, too. You can see the pulse of, of energy or something going through the four stationary lights that appear to be several miles away from their location at Lake Allegan. And you could even hear the, the water splashing up on the, the dock that they were standing on looking due west. Wow, what an incredible video. If you guys enjoy and learn anything at all from my videos, please consider making a contribution to me at my direct links below. Simply scan the QR codes with your smartphone camera, the PayPal link you can scan or click the link over here and that will take you directly to me. I'm a giver guys, not a taker. I love to give, but right now it's just one of those times. So anything at all you could do is greatly appreciated. Thanks for the photos and videos guys. Keep them coming. If you guys have any photos you'd like to share, you can send those to reports at Mr. MB. 333.com. If you guys have any videos you'd like to share that are too large to attach to the email, come over here to the homepage of the website, MrMBB333.com, that you can find linked down below in the description box. This is a Dropbox right here. Drag and drop your videos into the Dropbox. Please include your first name, date, and location, and I'll take it from there. Thanks for watching. Have a super day, and be safe out there.